Hello and welcome back to the streaming tutorial. In the first part I showed you how you can set up a very basic stream using open broadcaster software and Twitch TV. In this part I will show you how you can enhance your stream by adding new sources to your streaming scene. What we did in the last part was we just added our desktop, our monitor to our streaming scene. This way the people on your Twitch TV stream can see everything that you can see on your monitor. Now we want to spice it up by adding different sources, for example a webcam, information about the music that is currently playing on our stream and an overlay for the game we're playing. Let's start with the webcam. To add a webcam, again right click in the source box in here, you can leave your streaming preview running, I highly recommend doing that. Right click add a new source and choose video capture device. Give this source a name, call it webcam, click OK and this window will pop up. Up here in the device field all of your video capture devices should be listed. If you run a webcam it should be there. As you can see I have a Logitech HD webcam and I just choose it. You could do all sorts of crazy stuff in here, you could flip your image, you could use the webcam microphone, I do not recommend doing that. Even if you use your webcam microphone, use it through the microphone settings of OBS directly, not in here. You could even use the chroma key feature if you want to do some fancy green screen stuff. That's totally up to you. Choose your webcam and click OK. And there you go. Now you see me with my huge ass microphone, my headphones on my head and everything. Now, obviously you do not want your webcam to block the entire view. You can change this by clicking the edit scene button over here. Click on edit scene and as you can see this red frame will appear. You can use that to simply resize your webcam the way you want it to. If you just resize it it will keep the relation of uh, the sides. If you want to disregard this, hold the shift key while resizing and then you can resize it in a way you want to. This is a bit counterintuitive because most software does it the other way around. Anyways, if you want to drag it across your scene, just click right in the middle of it, hold your mouse button and drag it around the way you want to. Like so. There you have it, there's your webcam in your stream. Next up, I will show you how you can add an overlay to your stream. Now overlays are basically just images. If you don't have one, you can Google if you can find a proper overlay online for your game or you can try to make one yourself. If you want to know how that works, I made a tutorial on that a couple of months ago. I will also add this to this tutorial series for the streaming and I will include a link to that tutorial in the description of this video. To add an overlay we add a new source, this time we choose an image, we call it overlay. We click on browse, then we navigate to the location of the overlay on our computer, we choose the image, click open click OK and there's our overlay. Overlays always have to be on top. To make sure it is on top we have to make sure that the overlay source is on top of the source list. To do this right click on the source, choose order and move it on top, which it is. If I move it to the bottom it's gone because now it's hidden beneath the screen. If I deactivate the screen there is our overlay. So overlays always on top the screen should always be at the bottom. And that is all the magic that you need to include an overlay into your streaming scene. Last but not least, let me show you how you can add information about the music currently playing on your stream to your streaming scene. I know two different ways to do that and I will show you both. The first one is the one I use and it's pretty simple as long as you use two monitors. It is tricky if you only use one. Let me show you how it's done first and then I'll comment on the monitor problem. All you need to do is drag up your audio player, in my case Winamp, 
And what we're doing is we are selecting this bit of Winamp up here, the black box where we have the information about our music playing. And we simply grab that and add it to our streaming scene. To do this, add a new source, choose monitor capture again. We call this now playing. Click OK. Now obviously this time we do not want to capture our entire monitor. We only want to capture that region up here. To do this, go to the subregion, click the checkbox, add subregion, and click select region. What happens now is, and I don't think you can see that in my recording, a big wide transparent box appears on your entire screen. Just move your mouse to the very bottom corner of the box so you can grab it and resize it. Resize it, drag it over the bit of Winamp that we want to capture and make sure it is on top of that black box right here. Click enter and as you can see here the exact position and size of that portion of our screen is added into that mask. Click OK, click the edit scene and there it is. Now we can drag it up, make it bigger, move it where it should be, resize it so that it actually fits our overlay like so. Come on, there we go. Now make sure that it is below our overlay, move it down and there you go. If I run that song you can see the information in here starting to show. The problem with this method is that we did not actually capture that piece of Winamp. We did capture that bit of our monitor. That means if we move Winamp our information will be gone. As you can see now, my mouse is going up here. This is showing because what is showing is that bit of our monitor right here. If I move Winamp back, there it is. If I move it further over here, you see that. That means this only works if Winamp always stays in the exact same position and if nothing else is blocking that position. As a result, you cannot run Winamp in the background and your game in the foreground. If you do that, you will only see a small bit of your game in here. If you want to use that method on one monitor, you need to run your game in windowed mode and capture only that window for your screen, not the entire monitor. Then you can put Winamp on top or below of that window and it might work. If you use two monitors, it's perfectly fine. Just drag your player to your second monitor, as I'm doing right now. Make sure it's always in the same spot. Make sure nothing blocks it. Simply use the screen region capture for your second monitor, not your first one, and then it will work absolutely fine. The second version I'd like to show you works with one monitor as well as both. All you need is an additional piece of software, a nice little tool called Snip. I couldn't find a proper website, but I did find a post in the official Open Broadcaster Software forums where you can find a download link. I would include that link to the website in the description of this video. This is the forum post. There you have your link. Click on it, will bring you to GitHub and there is a download link for Snip. It is a 7-zip file, so to extract this you need 7-zip. If you don't have it, just Google 7-zip and uh, download it and then you can extract this. Once you download it and extracted it, in my case to the desktop, you'll get this folder. There's an executable in there and a couple of text files. Once you run the executable, it will be running from your tray down here. Right click on that and choose the player you want to use. Snip only works with Spotify, iTunes and Winamp. If you want a different player, it won't work. Click on Set Output Format click on defaults and then put one blank space in front of the set track format and save that. Now we're all set up, we need to create a new source. Click add source, this time we want text source. Name this overlay again 
Uh, I'm sorry. Now playing, obviously. There we go. What we want to choose here is the use text from file button up here. Click it. Click browse. Navigate to the snip folder. In my case on the desktop. Open it. And choose the snip.txt. Click open. And there we have it. Now we need to select a scroll speed. I usually use 50. Double click in the color field. Choose a color you want. I want it to be in red. I want it to be bold. And check this box at use custom text extents. I usually use a width of around 400 pixels. Click OK. And there is our text. We can now move that into our now playing box of our overlay. Make it a bit bigger. Size it down. And there we go. Now it says no track playing. Once I start playing a track, as you can see, it switches to that track. If I choose a different track, the snip automatically changes your track info. Obviously, if you want to use this uh, way of doing things, you need an overlay with a colored background because the scroll text doesn't have a background to it. And there you have it. Two ways how you can incorporate your now playing information into your streaming scene. To wrap things up, let me show you what you can do with different sources and different scenes in order to create your own streaming channel. Let's say I want to start a show and I want to play Diablo 3. But I'm not quite ready, I need five more minutes to get settled in and everything, but I already wanted to fire up my stream. Now, what people on my channel see is this. An overall layout in a scene I called General, where they can find information about my social appearances and about the stuff that is coming up. I also have room for myself, my webcam and up to two guests. That is what they see, run some nice epic music in the background, all fine. Then I settle in. I'm about to play, I fire up my webcam. There we go. I can say hello to, to the people, tell them what I'm about to do and everything. Then I want to start my game. I fire up my screen. Now obviously this Diablo 3 information here is in the way. I want to get rid of it. Simply uncheck the schedule source and it's gone. Now people can see what I'm doing and the social information and everything is still available. Now I start my game fire that up. That will still be visible in this smaller screen size here. <clears throat> Once the game is started, however, I want to move from the small screen to full screen. To do this, all I have to do is switch in between two different scenes, as I am about to show you once the game is actually started. Still loading. Now I actually start the game, like so, and once I'm in game, I switch my scenes. From my general scene, right here, to my Diablo 3 scene, right here. If I go into the game again, this is what the people will see. Now obviously down here is a blank spot. That is because my now playing information is not up on my screen. There we go. I start Winamp, start a song, and there you have it. I would stream Diablo 3 with overlay, music information, webcam, and everything. And if I'm about to make a break, I swim simply switch back to my general scene again. Have the overlay, let people know about my social stuff and everything. There we go. I hope I could help you out a little bit. And I hope you could learn how to set up your own stream. That being said, go ahead and do it. Set up your stream, play your games, generate an audience and have fun. I hope to see you guys around. If you like what you see, 
feel free to subscribe to my channel, leave comments. I'm open for criticism of all kinds, and as long as you keep things civilized. I do not put up with rudeness. That being said, take care everybody. Until next time. FZN out.